Okay, so a quick review on the Zero Tech Thrive. Oh, Zero Tech Thrive, so unboxing. Not review, sorry, unboxing. Zero Tech Thrive, 1x25, red dot, prices on there. Uh, base. Weaver, Picatinny Rail, yep, all that information's on there, so we know what we're looking at. Um, model THRD25. Okay, so basically this one I brought to put on a Dickerson uh, T1000 uh, 12 gauge shotgun. Uh, what is it? It's the straight pull. Had one on there before I brought, um, except for shot, except for rifles. Um, I couldn't find any information. If you buy one of these, I think you should make sure it's for shotguns. Now, when I looked up this one, it said a rifle one. So I, I spoke to the gun store and said, look, I'm putting it on a shotgun. I just want you to know. I confirmed it. I rang up later again after researching and it said for rifles. Can't see anywhere where it, say it sells for shotguns. So I basically said, rang them up and said, look, again, I'm putting this on a shotgun. Is that all right? Because if it breaks, I've had one on the shotgun before. I won't say what model, um, but the, the screen cracked. So this is my second one with the shotgun. Now, this is actually, believe it or not, and I, I'm sure it is, it is a, a Bushnell 2.5, same as the Bushnell 2.5. The reason I know that is because they had them unboxed in the shop and when I put them together they looked identical. The only difference was this one was $10 dearer and it was a little bit taller. Um, not No, sorry, the side adjustment for the, um, the dot didn't stick up as much and I found that having this on, on the gun and putting it in the bag it barely fits, or well, the last one did anyway. So I'm basically going to put, I compare them together. This one, that um, the adjustment was down on the side, whereas the adjustment's further up. But they looked identical. There was one other different thing for the um, Bushnell 25. I think it might have been a different mower. But there was only $10 of difference in price. Now in Australia, we pay up your butt for shit. So this is $249 here, which in America is probably they would pay in our money they would probably pay about a hundred bucks for one we pay a hell of a lot for gun stuff um so i'll give it a go yeah the last one i put on the shotgun cracked after five shots and it was a name one and it looked like a good one um if you're interested in knowing what it was you can pm me on it um now it doesn't come with batteries so i had to buy these these were five dollars for the six Generic brand. Um, so let's unbox it and have a look. And I'm not, I can only do this once, so um, if the video is not right, it's not right. Uh, yeah, the last one I just put about five shots through it and it cracked. Took it back and said, look. That's why I was concerned that when they don't, the Bushnells can go on a shotgun. I've read that and I thought this is identical to the Bushnell. So I'll get this one just because it's got that lower height. And I bet you yeah, they're all pretty much made in China. And the last one I did pay for, I must admit, was 218. So this one's actually boxed a lot nicer. Um, it's got a little, what the hell is that? What's that? Oh, a little carry bag. How about that? Hey, little carry bag. Zero tech carry bag. Cool. You have to put it in that. And I suppose that would be your typical thing that comes. It's actually a different material. It's like a screen cleaner. And there's the zero tech. Now, instructions. This one actually comes with instructions. I must admit the last one I brought was unboxed, so I had to actually find the instructions online, but at least they put a battery with it. But again, 
these are easy I think if you leave the batch backed up for life triple lifetime warranty um, I might read in here if it says not for shotguns just real quick because if it doesn't say for shotguns you can go back no, if it does if, if it says don't use on shot shotguns I'm taking it back um, always wipe fingerprints, always check the mount interface, avoid solvents and cleaners if you accidentally avoid stirring your RDA for long periods. Always wipe fingerprints, check the mount interface, always solve problems. If accidentally spray solvent, avoid mounting your fry red dot block to your firearm. Yeah, alright, so just real quick look again. Nothing about no shotguns. Durotech. Warranty information 12. It's probably what I'm looking for. Zero Tech Rifle Scopes. Rifle Scopes. That's the only thing that makes me a bit hesitant. It says Rifle Scopes. Introduction. Lifetime warranty. Be safe and make a life for transfer. So they can't prove what rifle you put it on anyway. Or what gun you put it on. When does a shotgun become a rifle when it has a slug in it? It's designed and built for the harsh conditions of the Australian bush. I reckon they're just buying from the same people that make the Bushnell 25 and putting this Bushnell 25 on it. Bushnell 25. Putting zero tech on it. Okay, so warning. There it is. Nice little one. Goes on Picatinny or a Weaver. I've only got one holding on. The last one I had had two. But, you know, what I'm going to do with this one is put it right at the back. Because the last one I had right on the front. I'm wondering if the shock being at the front of the rail, which is just over the um, action, or where the shell comes out. I wonder if that made a difference. So, I think with all these to put the battery in, it's the same process. And it comes with a battery. I looked on the um, internet and it said does not have battery. Um, not included. Nowhere in the box does it say battery included. I mean, I can't complain, but I went especially down the shops to buy batteries. But these are easy to leave the... How do you take the battery out? I don't want to stuff it. Battery, real quick removal. Um, Insert CTI for every click battery installation. All well, that's great instructions. Every click on wind elevation. Insert CO for your battery. Maybe I should just try and turn it on without worrying about anything else. Let's have a go. Take the lens protectors off. No, it's on. It's working. Look at that. Okay. How come it's come on? It's on zero and it's on. Oh no, that's the reflection of the glass. It's got the um, anti glare, I think. Let's have a look. One. It's not on. So what do we do? Bloody expensive these things. That's why when the last one buggered up, I'm glad they gave my money back because um, I was pissed off. Yeah. I was wondering if there's a protector under there or something, but there's not. Oh yeah, there is. Yep. So there's a protector under there, a bit of plastic. The problem with making videos is you've got to be careful because you can easily break something if you try and rush it. Alright, so that's Zero Tech 302. Put it on number 11. Always got to have it on the top one. Yep. So I'm looking at it now. I can see a nice reticle. Don't know if you can. Number 11. 
go straight to number one. Don't ever quote me on videos either. Ah, oh, that's on one and I can't see anything. Hmm. Can't see anything till it gets to six. See? Oh, F5. Jeez, how small do they think people's eyes are? But basically, once it gets to four, I can only just see it on the book. This might be a bit hard. Oh, where's his lens on the phone? Yeah, that's going to be too hard. I can barely see it. Hmm. So that's four. Any smaller than that, it's pointless. Yeah, yeah. Tell these things come straight out of China, we pay out the arse for them. I'm just going to have it on 11 all the times anyway. I don't see any point. It's not... I think it's a free mole. I don't know what the last one I had was. It's in the book. So there's probably my first dislike. Um, I'm sure it was bigger in the shop. But you know what? At least I've got something to use on it this weekend. Uh, where's the lens? Now that shows up instead. And I'm just trying to remember where my lens is. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, that gives you no idea. I'll keep it still. Not very big at all. I'm going to go on the shotgun. So let's have a quick look at it here. This doesn't need adjusting, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, I see. So because I'm looking at it from a distance. So I haven't had much experiences with these. The last one I looked at. I could actually see it's way offline though. Sorry that it's not in the video. Oh no. I think I'm not seeing it. There it is. So on four I can actually see it a bit better. At it from a distance. Um so I'll have a look at that. If I don't like, I'll just take it back. Simple. I mean, they unbox them to sell them anyway, so they don't care. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it. That's one thing I don't like. I'm not going to do a special review because one, I don't, I can't be bothered, and it's just you can you can get an idea what I've already seen from opening it, what I know of, and I don't know much about these. But like I said, I've done a bit of a lot of research on the cheaper ones. This is definitely the same as a Bushnell. I think the Aussies buy them and printed in China. I'll just have a quick look at the box. Where was it? I think zerotech.com. Oh, yeah. US customers with detail want to visit Zerotech content. Oh, yeah. That's all I can think they're doing is the Americans are just buying, uh, Australians are buying what the Americans buy from China and putting their name on it. But apparently the Bushnells, I've seen photos of them on shotguns and they work quite well. Um, so I'm just making sure, after having one bugger up, just have a look at these, they're adjusters, vertical. Um, but they look like they've got a promising warranty. I think every shotgun reacts differently. I know they all kick the same, but I think it's more the, re the 
yeah, something to do with recoil. And yeah, the last one, the front screen, it just put a great big light chip style crack in it. Um, first, I thought maybe there was some heat escape the barrel because sometimes the barrel, if you don't push it up hard enough, it actually um, lets out an open, it leaves it open, but it will only dry fire. Sorry, not the barrel where the um, bolt uh, straight pull slides forward. If you don't push it hard enough, the little locking thing doesn't turn and lock it. Um, so it, it comes with the battery, comes with everything else. The box is really presentable. I mean, it feels really good. And I'll try it in its little condom case here. Um, I don't know how that works. It actually looks pretty um, hard to get in there. I don't like forcing things. That actually, I hope that's for that. I'm not even going to bother with that. Looks like I'd be forcing it if I did. I'll have to look if there's, well, that's for something specific. Here's the tool in there, by the way, too. So I can't pull that foam out. There's the tool. And always make sure you take your tool with you. Because the last time I didn't take the tool with me, and when the screen broke, I couldn't take it off because I didn't want to break it any more and take it back. And um, it's all shattered, and I couldn't do any more shooting. So I could at least shot with just the um, rail that was on there. Okay, so that's that. And... I'll put that on. I'll try it out tomorrow. And if it don't work, I'm actually still going to put the video on. And I'm just going to put shattered and how it shattered. All right. Um, that's it.